Hey guys, if you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. Hey guys, if you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. Okay, thank you so much guys for waiting. Actually, I was uh, having some work in the office. Like I said, I'm already working somewhere. So from the office itself, it was very late for me to get out. And once I got out, I was stuck in traffic. I thought I will be reaching by eight, but uh, I got stuck in the traffic for the last 20 minutes. So that is the reason why I'm a bit late today. Uh, I'm so sorry for the same. I hope that and thank you so much guys for being uh, there for the class. Okay, uh, if I wanted, I would have cancelled the class itself, but I thought that it would be not so good for the class. Uh, class should happen every single day itself. Okay, uh, we'll have the class up till 9 itself. We would not be having a longer class. I am able to understand that uh, you guys also have some other work after 9. So 7.30 to 9 is the class schedule time. So we'll do it till 9 itself. Um, no issues in that. I'm extremely sorry guys uh, for the delay that has happened in today's class. Uh, I hope that uh, we will be able to continue from right over there. So please do let me know guys what have we studied in our last class uh, so that we are able to start just a quick revision and then we'll start. Uh, please do let me know what have we studied in our previous class guys. Please let me know. We studied about type conversion, strings, the integer, floats, okay, concatenation, GERD, boolean, GERD. Anything else guys that we have uh, studied uh, data types, good variables that was day before yesterday, uh, length function, okay, length, we have already seen length, okay, good. Uh, anything else guys, anything else, uh, type of, okay, anything else, uh, type conversions, okay, A comment, okay, uh, anything else guys, merge, I don't think so, we have studied merge, um, okay, okay. Okay, so this is all that we have studied in our yesterday's class. I will not be wasting any more time and uh, we'll start off with the class immediately. So let me just open up our uh, notebook itself. That is Google Collab. Uh, let me connect it to the server once again. Let me pause it out. And I'll just scroll down for the meantime while we are starting off with the class. We, asked, uh, we started with the... Uh, Strings. Okay, we have completed our concatenation and I think so we were right over here type and type conversion revision that is already done. Okay, so we don't need to revise it. Uh, this is what we were at uh, yesterday if I am not wrong. I will be continuing from right over here. Yes, we studied about the escape character as well. Good. Okay, flows are an approximation with the number they represent. Okay, that's great. So try to just uh, remember all these facts guys, whatever we have learned up till now. Okay. And uh, we will be able to continue from right over there guys. Okay. Good. So let's start off with this. We have learned how to convert an integer to a float and a float to an integer. Right guys. Please let me know. We have converted an integer to a float and a float to an integer. Right. We already know that. Am I right or wrong guys? Please let me know. Great. So now what we need to learn is how to convert an integer or a float to a string itself. Okay. How can we do that? And that is actually possible. So right over here, what I'm having is I'm having my first variable called as marks. Okay. I'm having a first variable called as marks, wherein the marks is equal to 15. Okay. 15 is an integer. It is not a string. It is not a float. It is an integer, right guys. And then I'm having subject is equals to coding. That is a string. Semester is equal to first. That is again a string guys. And now I want to concatenate them together to form a sentence. That is I scored uh, 15 marks in coding during my first semester. This is what I want to create using this. Okay. I scored 15 marks in uh, coding during my first semester. This is what I want to create. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to concatenate. So yesterday we saw that we can concatenate as many strings as possible. Okay, we don't have to concatenate one string. We don't have to concatenate two strings. We can concatenate 15 different strings together as well. Okay, but what about 
integer so if i try to do this okay marks is an integer right guys marks is an integer so i scored uh that is a string plus marks that is an integer plus in dash particular subject during my uh, dash semester okay now subject is coding so we know that that's going to happen concatenation is going to happen normally so in coding during my first semester that is going to be a normal uh concatenation itself but marks is a integer okay marks is an integer guys so i'm trying to concatenate a string to an integer that does not make any sense okay string is a different data type um uh, marks that is an integer is a different data type so you cannot uh, logically you cannot concatenate them together concatenation happens on two strings so if i'm running this particular line of code you guys are able to see that it is giving me a type error that says can only concatenate string not integer to a string okay so that is the error and the error clearly states that only strings can be concatenated together so we need to convert this integer okay we need to convert this integer marks to a string guys so how to do that you just place marks into a parenthesis and just write str in front of it just like we were converting integer to a float and a float to an integer as well the same way we can convert an integer to a string so now if i'm running this particular line of code okay we are converting marks to a string guys okay we are converting marks to a string guys if i'm running this particular line of code you are able to see that i scored 15 in coding during my first semester okay i scored 15 in coding during my first semester as simple as that guys okay similar to that if marks was a float okay 15.5 Again, okay, if marks was a float, guys, right now I've converted it into a float. So marks is a float, a decimal number. So if we are running this particular line of code, okay, we are getting I scored 15.5 in coding during my first semester. So marks that was a float also got converted into a string, guys. Okay, also got converted to a string. Uh, so can we put 15 inside of double quotes? See, then the data that has been provided to you, this data is not something that you are creating right now. Maybe this data was stored uh, somewhere else and you're just fetching that data itself and that data inherently is a integer or a float. In that particular case, what would you do? You cannot put that into quotation marks because that data already exists. You're not creating that data. So you have to convert it into a string to actually use it. Yes, you can only concatenate strings together. You can only concatenate strings together. I hope uh, Shush P and uh, Shion Swame, uh, I've answered both of your questions and you guys are able to understand this. Please let me know. Great. The next particular thing is, so uh, the same thing uh, for converting a particular string into a float as well or an integer. Right over here, you are having marks. That is a string. Okay. You are having, uh, you put semester equals to first, but the answer is first. Uh, no. As you are able to see, this is small, hence this is also small, guys. Both of them are small. Okay, both, both of them are small, guys. Okay, similar to that, right over here, uh, you are having marks is equal to string. Okay, here marks is equal to string, guys. So if I'm running this particular line of code, you are able to see marks was initially a string. Okay, marks was initially a string, and now I'm, I'm converting it into a float. So let me just print uh, marks as well. Print. Okay, and let us run this. So as you're able to see initially marks was a string i converted it into a float itself guys okay i converted it into a float itself as you're able to see so i'm just writing marks right over here that is a string and i'm converting it into a float so as you're able to see the answer is coming out to be 15.0 okay the answer is coming out to be 15.0 ramesh prajapat what's your salary at your job uh so it's good that is the reason why i run Deptown as a hobby itself uh, it is, uh, I cannot say exactly my salary, of course, but I can just state that it is approximately, the CTC is approximately equivalent to a Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Um, okay. Uh, Anek Khadam. Sir, I missed yesterday's attendance lecture due to personal issue. Am I applicable for certificates? I have revised all topics. Anek Khadam, if you are missing out on one attendance, okay, it's a genuine issue, we take care of it. You don't have to worry about it. But you are missing out on two or three attendances, then we are not going to help you guys out. Okay. Okay, great. The next particular thing that we want to understand is uh, format method, guys. 
uh see the format method is very important so somebody is saying uh, sir oh my god so rich sir so if you guys don't know ctc is not your enhanced salary okay i will create a video for you guys to understand to make you guys understand that if somebody is stating the ctc it is not actually his salary okay <laughs> If you don't know what is the difference between CTC and your base salary, I will create a video for you guys to explain what happens. Okay, we'll discuss about some of the salaries from various different companies as well. Uh, but no issues in that. Okay, so let's continue from right over there. So the format method, guys. So if you go right back right over here, I just wanted to write so so simple sentence. Okay, I scored this much in coding during my this semester as simple as that okay I, I didn't wanted to do something big but the line of code that i had to write was so big using the, your uh, concatenation method this is a very big line of code that you're actually writing okay this is a very big line of code that you're actually writing right over here so uh, you uh, very less number of times you want to write such big code and like i said python always gives you a method to decrease the size of your code itself okay so for that particular reason what i'm going to teach you guys is the format method okay so please try to remember this guys format is a very important method guys okay especially when it comes to data science if you are ever learning machine learning, if you are ever learning deep learning, if you are ever learning AI, if you are ever learning computer vision, NLP, format is a method that you will be using again and again and again. Okay. So uh, please try to understand this, sir. Are you using Mac in Office or with Windows or what do you prefer more? What's your uh, opinion? So I use everything. I am a tech geek. I like to buy things. Okay. So uh, many people will be spending their money. On various different things itself i like to spend it on travel i like to buy shit <laughs> even if i'm not using that shit so uh for streaming purposes like now i'm streaming right now so i use this particular laptop uh this is uh, the uh i have no idea Ze rogue zephyrus g14 or 15 i don't know uh this is uh, uh geforce rtx ryzen 9 5000 series and i have my workstation right over here that is also, I think so, of the same caliber. I don't know. It also has, the, I think so, Ryzen uh, 9 7000 series and uh, an RTX uh, graphic card inside of it. I have two MacBooks, one iPad, one mobile phone. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I just like, uh, I like to buy things. And uh, then I give it to my younger brother itself because, again, I don't have any use for it. <laughs> Okay, so let's continue from right over here, guys. Format is very important. So please try to understand this. This will help you out when you're learning some other uh, technologies as well. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's continue from right over here, guys. So uh, what format does is, for example, the exact same uh, line of code. Okay, this exact same thing. Instead of writing this, if I wanted to use format method, let us do that. Okay, so I'll create a new code block. And I'm going to use the format method right over here. So I'm going to use result. Okay, R E S U L T is equal to. So I'm going to write the exact same line of code, guys. Exact same thing using format method. Okay, exact same thing using format method, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this because I hate writing things again and again. And I'm very uh, tired as well, as you're able to see. Uh, most probably. If not, it's fine. <laughs> I have to take two more classes after this. <laughs> So yeah, I cannot be tired a lot. Uh, let us remove this. Let us remove this. So have you guys ever in your uh, school or college itself, you must have done fill in the blanks, right? Have you guys ever, do you guys know what is fill in the blanks, right? Fill in the blank type of questions. Please let me know. Please do let me know guys, you guys have used fill in the blanks, right guys? So just think of format method as a fill in the blank itself. You are having a question. I scored dash in dash during my dash semester. Okay. I scored dash in dash during my dash semester. You are having the question right over here. Okay. With the blanks laid out uh, right over there. And then you are having dot format. Okay. Dot format. And then you are going to give it the answers that it wants. Okay. You are going to give it the answers that it wants. Okay. Let us bring the answers down here. Okay, control V. 
and you are going to provide it with the answers. The first uh, blank, okay, the first blank that is there, okay, the first blank that is there, that is going to be your marks. Okay, the answer for that is marks, guys. M A R K S marks. Okay. The second particular blank has the answer of subject. So comma S U B J E C T subject. Okay. The third particular answer that is F I R S T first. Okay, as simple as that. Okay, as simple as that, guys. First is not defined. Oh, sorry, sorry, semester. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's a uh, semester, guys. Okay, so as you're able to see right over here, you are having the question I score dash in dash during my dash uh, semester, and then you're having dot format and then the answers to that marks, subject, and semesters, guys. Okay. Mark subject and semesters. Okay. Uh, uh, and then you are going to print it out. Okay, we are going to print it out as well. So print uh, result. As you're able to see right over here, as soon as I'm running this particular line of code, I'm getting the exact same answer. I scored 15.5 in coding during my first semester. I scored 15.5 in coding during my first semester itself. So in both the cases, we are getting the exact same answer, but we don't have to take care of these type conversions. Okay. As we are able to see, okay, as we are able to see, we are not taking care of any kind of type conversions guys. So we are here. We had to explicitly tell Python to convert marks into a string. Okay. We had to tell Python explicitly, okay, that you have to convert marks to a string before concatenating it here. You don't even have to do that. Okay. Here you don't even have to do that. Python handles that for you. Okay. Python handles that for you. So marks are automatically converted to a string and inserted into this particular fill in the blank itself. Okay. It is automatically converted for you. Python handles that. You don't have to do anything. Are you able to understand this? Please let me know. Ayash. Ayash. Mr. Dash, I'm not able to spell your first name. Okay. Uh, the information related to the training and internship can ask to your career counselor and he will be helping you guys out with the same. Okay. Are you guys able to understand why a uh, format method is so important guys. Okay. Why format method is so important. Okay. Dot format. Okay. Dot format. And then in the parenthesis, you are having all your answers right over there. It's easier to code. It's faster to code. You don't have to keep a track of whether you have put a plus or not. Okay. And it handles all the conversions for you. And if you are still not able to understand format method, think about it. Fill in the blank question, answer, question, answer as simple as that guys. Okay. As simple as that. If you're not able to understand format method, fill in the blanks question, answer. If you're still not able to understand it, just read about what is a fill in the blank question. Okay. So you are having this particular sentence. Okay. You are having the sentence that you want to add. Okay. I scored dash in dash during my dash semester. You're having the fill in the blank question itself and then dot format. And then the answers to that, then the answers to that guys, as simple as that. Okay. Great. Amazing guys. Uh, sir, are you an IITN? No, not at all. I'm not an IITN. <laughs> you don't have to be an IITN to uh, make shit happen. Okay. Okay, so here are some more examples of dot format method itself. Right over here, you are having the sentence as Muhammad has dash balloons. Okay, Muhammad has dash balloons. Now the dash has an answer of 27. So dot format, and then I'm providing 27 right over here as the answer. Okay, 27 as the answer, guys. So I'm running this particular line of code. And I'm checking out the answer itself. You are getting Muhammad has 27 balloons. Down here at the bottom, you are able to see the answer. Muhammad has 27 balloons itself. Okay. Then you are having the next particular question, guys. The first particular is animal is equals to dog. Second one is action is equals to bite itself. Okay. Then you are having does your dash dash. Okay. Now that feels a very long statement if you are thinking about it. But here it is a very good thing. Okay. So does your dog, uh, does your dash dash. Okay. Question mark. That is the question. Okay. Now format and then the answers you are able to provide right over here. Okay. Does your dog bite? So if you are checking it up, does your dog bite? That is the answer itself. Okay. Then the next particular thing is Maria string. Okay. You are having the string Maria string. That is the name. Uh, that is the variable that we have named it as Maria loves dash and dash. Okay. Maria loves dash and dash guys. Okay. So you can use a variable as well. Again, variables are nothing else, but it just refers to the value that it contains. It's just a nickname so right over here. You can use the variable directly. So variable that is Maria string dot format 
math and statistics so you are able to get the answer as maria loves math and statistics so if you ever want to become a data analyst a data engineer a data scientist uh you want to enter into machine learning deep learning data science any field like that you have to be good at maths and statistics guys math statistics sql python machine learning deep learning nlp you have to be good at this again okay. so again just like maria you have to be good at and you have to love maths and statistics guys okay uh, <clears throat> what if the number of dashes and the number of arguments inside a uh, format does not match sir in that case if the number of dashes is more okay then the next parenthesis will just come as parenthesis itself will treat it as a string okay if the number of uh arguments is more in that particular case your first few of the blocks will be filled up the rest will be uh, there will be nothing else after it as simple as that <sighs> okay so for those guys who are having this question what about like uh, if the number of uh, parentheses are more or if the number of words are more okay what will happen in that particular case just click on this particular link right over here it will take you to a page and you can read a little bit more about it okay you can read a little bit more about it and what will happen if the number of parentheses the curly braces is more or the number of words in format is more okay what will happen in that particular case I've put up the link for that. You can just go to this particular link, read a little bit more about it, and you will be able to understand as much as possible, guys. Okay. Okay. The next particular thing. So we are done with data types, guys. We are done with data types. The next particular thing that we need to understand, and the last thing that we need to understand, okay, is lists, guys. Okay. Now, list is basically uh, your uh, data. You have learned about data types, right? Okay, you have learned about data types, guys. Up till now, that is what we have learned about. The secondary thing called as data structures. Okay, this is again a new topic that is there. That is data structures, guys. So this data structure as a topic is very vast. Okay, it has various different structures inside of it. But what do you mean by data structures? Let's assume that I'm having a lot of different uh, like items with me. I'm having a ball. I'm having a pyramid. I'm having uh, some uh, cylinders. I'm having some cuboids. Okay, I'm having some cubes with me. So treat all these items as different uh, data types itself. Okay, I'm having these different data types that I'm having all together with me. Different type of shapes and sizes that I'm having with me, guys. Now, if I want to take, if I want to carry all these things from one place to another, okay, I want to carry these things from one place to other. I require a lot of uh, bags itself right i require a lot of i need a structure to actually organize it okay store it somewhere that is what is referred to as data um structures guys okay think about it as a different type of uh, baskets okay think about it as different type of baskets that are used to store and organize all the data types together okay store and organize all these data types together these are called as data structures one of the most used and the most important data structures that is there and the easiest to learn as well is lists okay that is list guys uh, so the official definition of data structures is data structures are containers that organize and group data types together in different ways okay that is the official definition okay of that uh aniket op uh, uh, just like reading your particular sentence i've answered this question every single day for the past three days if you don't know the answer for your question that why i'm teaching python up till now then i feel that you are not actually paying attention to the class itself okay so the reason why i'm teaching python is you know python i know open cv should i not conduct these boot camps i don't know open cv why should i conduct these boot camps Okay, why I'm conducting these boot camps is not for you particularly. It is for the entire mass of the students that are here. But everybody knows Python. You know Python, that's good. That's great. Okay, not everybody knows it. And I want DevTown is a platform where anybody from any background, no matter if he's from chemical, mechanical, if he's not even from engineering, if he's from metallurgy, maritime engineering, he's from commerce, he's from BSc, BCA. Any particular background can enter right over here, learn everything from the basics to the level that you want to learn it to. Okay, so if you are here just for open CV, I will suggest to find some other platform. Okay, this is not a good platform for you, I think. 
Yes, Aniket, you will have to attend every single session. There's no other way of doing about it. Okay, so let's continue from right over here, guys. So list is one of the most common and basic data structures in uh, like Python. Okay, it's a mutable ordered sequence of elements. Okay, the sentence is very important, guys. The sentence is very important. It is a mutable ordered sequence of elements. Okay. Now I'm not going to make you guys understand it right now. Okay. I'm not going to make you guys understand it right now. As soon as we are going a little bit more in depth. Okay. You will start understanding what is the meaning of this particular sentence. Okay. Be patient. Okay. Of course, I'm going to make you guys understand this, but if I'm trying to make you guys understand it right now, you won't be able to do that. But remember the sentence guys. Okay. Remember the sentence guys. It is a mutable ordered sequence of elements. Okay, mutable ordered sequence of elements, guys. Okay, uh, sir, just a uh, frank question. If I get it tattoo right now, is it going to be a big problem in placements? I wish I'll just definitely suggest that don't get a tattoo at a particular place that is visible. Okay, that is something that I will be suggesting to you uh, as a professional courtesy itself because I've been in the industry for so long. I can get tattoos wherever the fuck I want. But that is just my suggestion to you. Okay, because right now I'm having a lot of tattoos. I have tattoos on all my fingers. After I've done tattoo right over here, here, here. I'm planning to get a little bit more as well. So just remember that right now, if you're planning to get a tattoo, get it somewhere that is not visible on a shirt. Okay, when you're wearing a shirt itself. Otherwise, after a few years of job, you can do that. Okay. So let's uh, continue from right over here, guys. Um, this is an example of a list that I've created. Okay, so the list is called as students. That is the name of the list itself. And the list has various different uh, elements inside of it. Okay, we, various different elements inside of it, guys. We are having Sam, Pam, Rocky, Austin, Steve, Banner. Okay, so these are all the different elements inside of it, guys. Okay, and to create a string, this is how you create a string. Uh, sorry, <laughs> create a list itself, guys. You start off with a, uh, you put the entire elements inside of um, square brackets. Okay, and the elements can be of any data type. Okay, you can have integers, floats, boolean, strings, every single thing inside of the same uh, list. Okay, inside of the same list, guys. You do not, it's not necessary that all the elements should be of string or all the elements should be of integers itself. A list can contain every single type of data type together. Okay, please remember every single type of data type together. Okay, as well. Are you guys able to understand this? Uh, please do let me know. Uh, so one question, how you handle explaining and reading chat at the same time? I'm just looking at the chat right over there. Uh, so I actually connected with you on Instagram. So let's talk further there. Sure. If you want to talk to me professionally, you can connect with me on LinkedIn. Okay. If you want to talk to me unofficially, you can contact me on Instagram as well. Both my IDs are down in the description of the video. Okay. It will be great to talk to you. I, I, sometimes it takes me a lot of time to answer back because I don't open up my platforms very frequently, but yeah. I've learned speaking, uh, Canada. I, I learned uh, Elidira. Okay, I've learned Ali Dira uh, and Bharti Dira. These are the two words that I know in Kannada. Okay, uh, which language is better for learning, future learning? English. <laughs> okay, there's no language like that. Okay, you have to choose what domain you want to enter. So why are the companies uh, laying off employees? Will it affect our programming career? Uh, so there are various different reasons why companies are laying off employees right now. The first reason is because most of the companies were not laying off employees during the COVID span. So right now to keep up with the work itself, they are laying off people. Secondly, big uh, startups are laying off people to achieve profitability. Then you are having companies that are going down. So they are leaving off people to maintain their growth itself. So there are a lot of different things, guys. We are preparing to get job into FANG and top companies, but uh, recently all these companies are laying off employees. So what to do? Uh, what we do according to that. Uh, see, the point is that even when you are hearing that, okay, big corporates like Amazon, Microsoft, uh, Goldman Sachs have laid out more than 10,000 people. Most of these people are from foreign countries. 
Okay, very few of those are from Indian, uh, con like Indian subcontinent itself. The reason for that is we are cheap labor to them. For us, if they are leaving one person from uh, US or UK, okay, they are firing them from US or UK. In that case, they have to fire 10 people to achieve the same cost in India. So they don't fire anybody from India usually. And uh, those people who are getting fired, they were not actually working properly. That is also one of the conditions. Okay, they were in the bottom 5%, bottom 10% that were there in the company itself. If you and they are still hiring, Goldman Sachs is still hiring, Microsoft is still hiring, Amazon is still hiring. What is happening is if you are entering into the company and you are not able to perform well right over there, then nothing can be done for you. Okay. So can you please make a video on what should be salary expectations from freshers? Sure, I will definitely suggest that. My senior fired from Goldman Sachs, what about him? IIT KGP. See, again, uh, it's not necessary that if you are from IIT or NIT, then you are great. Okay, it is possible that when you are entering into a company, you are not able to perform well. So of course, they will be firing you. <laughs> Even as Depton as a company, okay, uh, we are a non-profit organization. We don't have any employees. We only have volunteers that work for us. If Anybody is interested to work for Devtown, we are like, oh great, come work for us. <laughs> because we are, our sins are like that. We don't take it very really seriously. Okay. Please launch DSA course. Sure, uh, I'm actually planning to do that. Okay, so today I will just share the attendance. I know it's pretty late for you guys as well. You guys have been waiting for the class for a long time. I'm able to understand. And I'm so sorry guys. I'm so sorry. There was a lot of work in the office. And then I got stuck in the traffic itself. So I was not able to come to the boot camp for time. This won't happen from tomorrow as well. Okay, so please do not worry about it. I'll try to make sure that this is not happening in the future. So again, I'm very sorry that I was late guys for yesterday's, uh, today's class. Okay, uh, tomorrow the classes will be on time, 7.30 itself. Do not worry about it. Tomorrow is a holiday, Saturday, Sunday, yay. So I will be having, I will be available right over here itself guys. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, okay. Will we start with OpenCV tomorrow? Yes, we are going to start with OpenCV tomorrow itself, guys. Okay, tomorrow we'll be starting off with OpenCV. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, so tomorrow itself we'll be starting off with OpenCV. Any new topic in Python that is coming up right over there, we'll be learning it there and there itself. Right now, you know the basics of Python. Any new topic that is coming when we are learning OpenCV, we'll learn it right over there. Okay, you don't have to worry about it. Everything will be taught to you from the scratch, from the basics. You don't have to worry about it. Tomorrow we'll try to understand what is OpenCV. We'll try to code in OpenCV as well. So you don't have to worry, uh, worry about it. Okay. And I will try to answer some of the questions as well. T today the attendance link will be open till the next day. Okay. Till 24 hours the attendance link will be opened up because I was late. So I cannot expect people to be live with me. Maybe some of the people were like, hey, the class is not going on. We'll attend it at a later point of time. So no issues in that. Tomorrow I'll be on time. 7.30 the class is going to start. Today's attendance will be open for 24 hours. Tomorrow's attendance will be open for just five minutes. Okay. So you have enough time to fill up your attendance itself. I'm going to send the link in the live chat and I'm going to make it, uh, I'm going to pin it up as well. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. I I'm so sorry guys again for being late today. Uh, it was not under my control. Uh, <laughs> job is there. So I, even I couldn't do something about it. Do not get into testing. The people who get into testing always message me with one thing that I want to get into data development. What can I do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so please don't get into testing guys. Please don't get into, get into testing. So during campus interviews, if you show them these certificates with the company uh, only based uh, the topics out of this, uh, see the probability of that is very high. If they are showing whatever certificates that you are showing up right over there, questions will be asked to you on data structures and algorithms. Questions will be asked to you on the programming language for DSA. And questions related to tech will be asked to you on the certificates that you show. Okay. So on which programming language should we focus for CP? Uh, the same language that you're using for data structures and algorithms. You don't have to use to what is your LinkedIn profile? Amir, the LinkedIn profile is down in the description of the video itself. You can just search for it on LinkedIn. This is my LinkedIn profile. It is already down in the description. I know I have not opened up my LinkedIn profile for a very long period of time. I have to look at it. I will definitely do that today. Okay, so yeah, that is the uh, profile guys. Okay, which language, which coding language is uh, most preferred in companies now? Uh, actually, you don't prefer any kind of languages itself. They prefer, have you done data structures and algorithms or, and computer programming? You've done it. 
C++, Java, that is my preference. If you want to go into data science, choose Python. If you want to go into full stack web development, choose JavaScript. That's it. As simple as that. These are the languages you have to choose. So currently I'm uh, doing BSc, computer, third year. I'm confused whether to pursue my higher studies in MCA or just focus on improving my skills, doing courses and learning. What do you suggest? Uh, Saraswati Reddy, uh, going for a future study or to remain right over here and improve your skills and get a job. What should be your preference to get a job? There's an opportunity right now. You are, you will be able to get a job right now. Focus upon it. Okay, focus upon it. First, get that opportunity. If you're not able to get a job right now, what kind of uh, efforts and what kind of shit are you going to pull? What kind of magic are you going to do when you're going into MCA that you're going to get a job? So you're going to do the exact same thing that you have to do right now, right over there as well to get a job. So do it right now. Why do waste two years of your life? Okay, is CUA important for hacking? I'm not into cybersecurity. Okay, I'm not the right person to answer that question. If I was, I would have definitely answered that. Okay, uh, so how about gate exam for campus interviews in CS Bank? What do you want to give? Uh, what do you want to give gate for interviews? Okay, it makes no sense. Is system design important? Not for pressures. Not at all for pressures. How do you study uh, computer organization and architecture? Some steps. Uh, see, I didn't study anything inside of college. Okay, inside of college, my GPA was pretty low. It was 7.4 when I passed out. And um, all of my friends as well who got into Google, who got into Microsoft, who got into uh, Goldman Sachs had GP around like between six to eight. Okay, <laughs> every one of our friends were of the same level itself, but everyone got into great companies. We treated college studies just as college studies itself, just like how I treated my NCRT studies as. This type of cheese. Okay, I don't want to look at college studies. Okay, because whatever you're studying in college studies, that is never going to be asked into to you guys into your uh, interviews itself. Nobody is going to ask to you guys into your uh, interviews. Okay, nobody uh, like cares about it at the end of the day. How can we start our journey of data science? Okay, start by learning Python. Okay, SQL, statistics. Okay, then go into data analysis, NumPy, Matplotlib, Pandas, Seaborn. Get into Kaggle competitions. Okay, learn 18 machine learning uh, algorithms, six deep learning algorithms. That is how you should be doing. Okay. Which job role is best for data science, data analysts, and data engineering? Beta, uh, <laughs> Okay, but data cleaning ke uh, alawa or kaha kaam aata hai format. So basically, when you are scheduling your work processes for uh, machine learning algorithms, okay, so how many times it is going to be run, okay, giving you the test results and everything, their format method is uh, used a lot to specifically understand what is going on in your log records. For freshers, what are the requirements for companies, data structures, algorithms, computer programming? and any development skills okay any development skills guys these are the three things that are important why did you leave google very simple uh, other company uh, uh, paid me 30 percent more i was like fuck it <laughs> let's go to the new company okay uh sir lead code programming is very difficult uh yes if you are starting out i hated data structures and algorithms i hated competitive programming but there is no other way see the class is over guys the class is over i'm just trying to ans answer some of the questions you guys can leave okay there's no compulsion in staying the class the class is over guys i'm just trying to answer some of the questions that are there i'm trying to do that okay uh what was your role uh what is your role on your job right now i'm a full stack engineer i've changed my entire profile i was into data science i wanted to explore full stack web development because of you guys um that if i'm teaching full stack right over here i should have a great knowledge about it so i changed my career uh, Google, Microsoft, mass layout. So what should we fear about this? You shouldn't be fearing about this. The people who are already working should be fearing about it. Because when everybody got work from homes, everybody went back to their homes, the productivity of people actually decreased. And any big company, any company wants profits at the end of the day. So what the aim of is bottom 5%, they will always remove. Because the past three years due to COVID, they were not removing anybody. So right now, the past three years of removal that used to happen, happened at once. So they fired off 13 to 15% of the population itself because for the past three years, nobody was getting fired. This is a normal thing guys. Okay. It is being hyped up to you guys to be shown to you guys because you guys are very vulnerable and you don't try to understand what is going on. 
So if so, I'm telling to you guys that oh, there is uh, like uh, everybody is getting fired. Fucking branch, it's all khadam ho raha hai. And you guys will be like, oh fuck, fuck, fuck. What is happening? Okay, uh, there's no job security, nothing. What is happening is for the past three years, nobody was getting fired, and every year they fire five percent of their population. Okay. Every year they fire five percent of the population. For three years they were not firing anybody. Actually, they were hiring some new people. So due to that particular reason itself, and once they fired fifteen percent, and you guys felt as if, oh man, like everybody got fired or something. So actually, you guys are very susceptible to uh, knowledge, like incomplete knowledge itself. And that is the reason why you guys are always scared. I I don't know why. I'm still working. <laughs> If you are a good performer, no company is going to leave you. I'm working in AI ML, good or not? Because I took AI ML branch. Is it safe or not? I think it's safe. Okay, <laughs> everything is safe until the time that you stop working. <laughs> so for data science engineers, uh, which language is mostly preferred by you? Python, of course, Python. Is big data a good career? Only for those who have already a career in data science. Okay, if you are a fresher, don't aim for big data. You are never going to achieve it. For big data, you first need to know and learn data science. You need to have expertise in data science. You need to have experience in data science. Only then you get big data jobs. So, can you please advise sequences of subjects to study, Avinash? That would be a totally a like a individual thing itself. The what you want to do that is totally dependent upon that, right? If you want to get, become a data scientist, you want to become a full stack engineer. What do you want to de uh, become? So, is it important to do internship? Yes, internships are important. It adds to your experience itself. The CGPA matter. Uh, yes, it matters a bit. Okay, I will be very frank with you. I didn't have a good CGPA. Okay, if I wanted to be like the other preachers, I would be like, "Hey, are CGPA doesn't matter, bro." Like other YouTubers say. Okay, it matters a lot. Uh, actually, what happens is a company basically judges you from an overall uh, personality itself. Just think about it. Think about it. You are a company. You want to hire five people. Okay, who are you going to hire? Everybody has the same skill set. Everybody is doing the exact same thing. DSCP development, DSCP development, DSCP development. Whom to hire? Hire it according to the CGPA itself, or their interview experience itself, or their experience itself. That is how you are going to hire them. And CGPA basically shows that, nevertheless, even if you are from civil, chemical, mechanical, and you are applying for an IT job, still your CGPA matters. It shows that you are always a hard worker. You are always a hard worker. That is what it shows. Okay. So even I didn't had a good CGPA. My friends didn't had a good CGPA. We all got placed into good companies. But the point is, CGPA still matters a bit. So try to make sure that you are having decent CGPA at least. That GTP uh, GPT is dangerous for programmers or not? Uh, I am currently working. I am not out of a job, so it is not uh, like it can help programmers, but it cannot replace programmers. As simple as that. Otherwise, let's just close Facebook, Google, Microsoft. Why are they running? Okay, and they don't need the employees itself, na? Just chat GPT. That that is not going to happen. Okay, <laughs> chill about it. Think a little bit from your brain before asking questions. <laughs> okay. Full stack or data science? Not good in math. Uh, then choose data uh, full stack instead. We are not good in math. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of questions. Ofo, I asked like twenty times what I'm supposed to submit the final registration. Are in Hyder, you are very late to submit the final registration. No issues in that. In the future itself, for any other bootcamp, you can do the final registration at any point of time. That's just to support us. That's it. Okay. What does this course has to do with Harry Potter? Oh, uh, so the invisibility cloak that we are going to create using Open CV. That is where I related it to Harry Potter itself. <laughs> okay. How do you become a full stack developer? Learn front end, back end, DevOps, cloud computing in AWS. You become a full stack developer. Okay, guys. I actually have a uh, another class as well in fifteen minutes, so I'll be closing this particular class. I have two more classes that I have to take today. Okay, one training and internship batch as well I have to take up. So I'll be meeting you guys tomorrow at seven thirty. Once again, we'll be continuing from right over there. And thank you so much, guys, for coming up to these boot camps. And uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, we'll be meeting tomorrow, and uh, we'll be continuing from right over there. Which tomorrow we'll start off immediately with Open CV. That is my promise. Okay. So thank you so much, guys, and uh, we'll meet tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.